Okay, Disney runners, we are back for another Wish Upon a Run weekly recap. I hope everybody had a fantastic week. Did you? We get, did too. We did. Did you get your runs in? <laughs> did you run? How much did you run? And what I need to do first is I need to ask everybody, please, please subscribe to our channel, Wish Upon a Run. There's a link right at the bottom here for you to subscribe. We need your support more now than ever. We um, would love to bring some live events to you guys, especially, get this, the Wine and Dine Run uh, Disney event was canceled. We would love to do a live event on YouTube for Wine and Dine, but we cannot because we do not have 1,000 subscribers. So please mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button because we would love to do Wine and Dine live. live for you guys all to watch and to run with us. So please subscribe to our channel. We love you guys. We're so close to be able, be able to do that um, live. We just need a thousand subscribers. We're so close. So hit that button. We love you guys. Welcome to another week of the Wish Upon a Run recap. Kristen, did you have a good running week? I had a great running week. We've okay. been doing a lot of training. Tons. Runs, we have a marathon uh, coming for, up. We do. Yeah. As of right now, we mm -hmm. still have uh, a marathon in December scheduled. Thankfully, it's still going. Fingers crossed full force. Uh, so we've been hitting some high mileage. Yeah, we have. Uh, but most importantly for you guys, mm -hmm. we have uh, been checking out Disney. I've been checking out Disney this mm -hmm. week and last week. Please look at the Magic Kingdom Fall POV. I'll put a link, guys. It was right there. It was so much fun to do. I think uh, we've had some suggestions, and I'm going to try to do some commentary with some of them coming up because I do have a lot scheduled between November, uh, well, October. Guys, it's the holidays. <laughs> we all have full lives, right? This is like our. But the holidays are the best time. It doesn't uh, matter right. what my life is. Oh, yeah, of I, course. Yeah, I okay. need to get yeah. these POVs up because, we do. oh my gosh. You guys are all missing Disney. It's the holidays. Uh, mm -hmm. You have no idea. We are missing the Mickey's Not So Scary Christmas party like <laughs> nobody's business. Wait, you just said Mickey's Not So Scary Christmas. Just okay. so you know. <laughs> well, we're missing both of them. We're missing Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. We are missing Halloween. We are missing. But maybe he's a we're scary missing, Christmas. We're missing the Mickey's Very Merry <laughs> Christmas party too. We're yeah. missing, guys, we're missing both of them. Okay. So we know they're not happening, happening this year, but we're going to try our best to... Um, get we want to get all the, they have started putting up the decorations. We drove past the yeah. Christmas tree parade that they are setting up backstage yeah. to, um, they do this, the, the night of Halloween after the 31st of mm -hmm. October, they take all their, um, Christmas decorations into the magic kingdom. This is like this holiday train. Mm -hmm. They are setting it up right now backstage. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. The other day I we were driving through and I saw all the Christmas trees up and I was so excited. So I took a picture and I put it on Facebook today because mm -hmm. I, I've been driving past this week and saw it and I keep telling Adam, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, slow down. Cause I need to take a picture and I keep forgetting or it's too late at night. So I got one and I put it up on Facebook. But what's m more valuable is the fall decorations because oh, yeah. we are so close to Halloween mm -hmm. and I love fall so much. And so I love seeing the Magic Kingdom decorations. I did do Epcot this week and I wish they had more fall decorations. I thought they would have more. You like, can wish in one <laughs> hand and you know what in the other. I, I, fall, is, fall is my favorite favorite mm. time of the year because of Disney and because yeah. of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, which is kind of happening this yeah. year. But um, I know we both love fall. Yeah. And I know that because of certain international issues, fall at Walt Disney World has not happened the way that yeah. it has in the past. And it's very depressing. But <laughs> you know what? We have got some great POVs to keep the energy yeah. going. And so I've been over there, been been able to um, you know check out some of what's going on, and you know the running course is over there. So I'm kind of sticking to just getting some of the holiday decorations that are at the parks right now. Mm -hmm. And then Christmas is when you see the big uh, holiday decorations at the resorts. So I'll go back around at those times. 
But for now, I'm, I'm so thinking excited that a, um, <laughs> that to a run in. Oh my gosh! Grand gosh. Floridian Holiday Resort run is probably in our future, uh, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll add that. Yeah. I'll add that to December. So that sounds fun. You I know, have, they. I did hear that they're not doing the gingerbread houses this year, which is kind of sad. I did hear um, that, yeah. But you can still expect some great holiday decorations, and we've seen them getting set up for that, so we yeah. know that's going to happen. And um, you know, if you're looking to uh, do your holiday runs around yeah. the different resorts, like like they don't the Grand really Florian, have a lot. Just you know, if you are thinking about that, um, some of the resorts I thought like they don't normally put out like fall, mm -hmm. and I have been to some of the resorts in the last week or two. They don't really have so much. Um, but at Disney Springs, you can't run there. And we've talked about this before. You shouldn't run there. Yeah. No, <laughs> they, they get mad real. Yeah. And even if you think you can run the Saratoga Springs, they kind of have blocked that off. So you I mean, can't you can, get if in. you're staying at Saratoga, you can run you there. You can but... get in, but you have to be able to stay in there. And so you can't like go into Disney Springs and then run their like loop. But yeah. so Disney Springs all their desserts right now. So like after the yeah. run and you want your delicious holiday desserts, Disney Springs is on point. Yeah. So right. you should check it out. So but you know what's coming up? Yeah, I was just gonna say, let's talk about the meat of this conversation, yeah. which is wine and dine, which is coming up very soon. And yeah. guys, we know that it's virtual. We know that it's been canceled, but to a lot of us, that just you still means- need to plan. That just means we're running it alone. Uh, but you know what? We're all alone together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while you may be running it at a Disney resort alone, I bet you oh. do dollars to donuts, you are going to run into somebody who is doing the same thing. Yeah. So there um, are groups planned. Yes. Uh, that I know if you search social media hard enough, there mm -hmm. are different people, you know, run it at your time, run it however you choose, but you can get whatever resort you're at. I guarantee you're going to see people who are running these races just or these, you know, virtuals on wine and dine weekend, just like you. Yeah. So bring your costume. Yes. If you have it. Yes. And um, let's talk about where you would run. So let's talk and about what's this the first. best places to plan. Don't for. plan a big group, please. Don't don't try it. We've seen on Facebook that people are trying to get big groups together mm -hmm. to run Disney property. They're going to break that up, guys. Disney is not going to let you do that. So don't even try. Yeah. Um, run in small groups. I would say if you a group of four is probably yeah. the largest that you're going to be able to be able yeah. to get away with. Um, but don't try to plan anything bigger. It was only bigger. in yeah. August that we were at the boardwalk. I hate to be devil's advocate. Yeah. I feel like I always am, but you know. The boardwalk, uh, this was <laughs> early August or so. I was over there and just like I had gotten a coffee. And I thought it would be okay. There's nobody around me that I could drink my coffee and take my mask down. Mm -hmm. And they had people on bicycles. And the bicycle security guard stopped me and was, I'll just call them pleasant, told me. Guys, it was like they Disney could stop us. To step they, aside they, they if I wanted they were some like, coffee. They were like, you stop right now if you want to sip and that coffee. I know that they still, they've recently, I've seen some of the bicycle people. And it's very quiet over there. I respect that though, guys. They're yeah. trying to keep everybody safe. So, yeah. you know, being devil's <laughs> advocate, they're trying to keep everybody yeah. safe. So that's fine. But what I really want us to talk yeah. about is, I, I'm going to give my pick and I'd like to give yours. Okay. I'm um, ready. Where is the best Disney resort to run your virtual wine and dine half marathon? Now, I know a lot of you guys are maybe doing a 10K or a, a 5K. 10K. And you that can, that, you that can, can run apply, a 10K pretty yeah, much that, anywhere. That can apply to these <laughs> resorts too. But we're yeah. talking about the half marathon. Where is a great spot to run your half marathon mm -hmm. uh, virtually uh, if you're staying at a resort? What resort should you pick? Um, for uh mm -hmm. for that wine and on half and i'm gonna give you my pick are you ready okay okay so my pick if i had the option um to pick where i wanted to stay and where i wanted to run for the wine and dine uh -oh. virtual would be the riviera resort the riviera is i think so yeah that's new a it's fantastic it's got that restaurant on the roof that's really good The what mm -hmm. is it called it's called like um Topolinos. Topolinos. But you know what else it has, guys? 
It is right there around the lake with the Caribbean Beach Resort, mm -hmm. which gives you like a 2.2 mile loop <laughs> that goes around, which means every 2.2 miles, you're back at your resort. And if you need water, if you need a bathroom, if you need a break, if you need nutrition, yeah. you're right back where you started. And it is an amazing run. It's very run. pretty. It's, it's so very pretty. pretty around the little lake. It's not boring. The, it's not boring. It's the really pretty. The plant life and the foliage and um, yeah. you see the sky. And I'm going to put a link. We have a link um, to our POV that we did yeah. at the um, Caribbean Beach Resort. I'll put that up right now. It's a great run, guys. And if you're on a budget... Yeah. I would say Caribbean Beach is a great place to stay for this. Yes. If you have the money, stay at the Riviera. Yeah. If you're if if money is no object, my pick is Disney's Riviera. <laughs> run in the morning early. And do Topolinos. Get your half marathon yeah. done, and then and watch the sunrise over the you know the lake there at yeah. the Caribbean Beach, and watch the the Skyliner cars go and everybody go out to the parks mm -hmm. in the morning. Uh, take a nice nap and then go to Topolino's and just treat yourself in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That that is my pick for sure. Mm -hmm. Kristen, what's your pick? Oh, this I put is you so on the spot. Hard. I put this you on the spot. This is hard because there's a couple of places that uh -huh. I do frequent. Okay. Uh, and Adam used to come with me too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you my number two, and okay. then I'll have a number one. Okay. So deal. I know if you're, I'm going to prep, this is not my number two, but if you're at the campground, mm -hmm. I will say the campground has tons of space. It's Fort Wilderness beautiful. Campground. Yeah, yeah Fort mm -hmm. Wilderness Campground, mm -hmm. the RVs, the cabins, and just the uh, the way that they decorate like people's campsites. Mm -hmm. Oh, super fun. So if you're yeah. there, stay there. Like, you're great. Run there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for God's um, sake. But that's hard for uh, anybody who's on property in a hotel to kind of get in there. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, you know, I am always partial. My number two. So if you're not camping, it's a hard place to run at. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not, you just can't really get in there. Like, yeah. there's not like restaurants or anything. Yeah. Um, but my number two is always uh, the Grand Floridian and Polynesian Loop. Because I just, it's not about the resorts. I just really connect with Bay Lake and just kind of being in the whole Magic Kingdom area. Yeah. And there's something about that, especially in the morning and the sun's coming up. Or even if you want to do it at night. I mean, I'm, I like to be a night runner. So if you let's do it in the evening and you just see that and it just is really special. But uh, my number one, I think Adam knows this. I already know, yeah. I know. I can't. Like, that's where I'm going to be. So you'll see me, I'm sure. I have, um, we have the 10K registered and the half, half because mm -hmm. you all know, this is my favorite. I can't function without the wine and dine in my life. We're going to be dining at home afterwards. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be doing the dine portion oh, well. at home. But where <laughs> oh, will you be running? Where yeah. is your pick? the boardwalk but i'm going to preface this because most people just run the loop mm -hmm. oh no 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 there's so much my, more guys yeah there's so much my more. path is much bigger than yeah. the actual boardwalk loop yeah. so i do the boardwalk loop i go down to hollywood studios and then i come weave through the swan and the dolphin a little bit and then come back down you know and kind of do it again guess what guys yeah we have a POV of that too that's very popular. Link right yeah. up here. So you can watch <laughs> that one too. Yeah, it just, um, I know Adam knows this. I've been running at the boardwalk for a really, really long time. Yeah. And I know um, Adam, before um, some of the things going on right now, he used to run there all the time and with me. And it's, right now, I've uh, it's been very quiet over there. NBA it's been is super left. Super quiet. Yeah. Um, and it's really been a lot of, DVC and not so much travel over there. So, it's, so I've it's heard not it's deserted. The, there's no entertainment yeah, either on the evenings. So um, also it's not as nice as it used to be because you used to be able to see all the fireworks at night. You used to see fireworks and we would, entertainment. We were not yeah. morning runners over there. We, we always would always go over night. there at night. And we would plan it for 8.30. You could see so Epcot's we could watch fireworks. You could see... Um, Fantasmic. Fantasmic. Yeah. And... You, from a distance, you could see uh, Wishes. You could see all of them. Sometimes Galaxy's... And the Galaxy's Edge. Edge, yeah. Or the... And you know, you know what's great about them. that spot? 
is that there's bathrooms and water yeah. everywhere. Yeah. There's bathrooms by the boardwalk. Uh-huh. There's bathrooms all the way at Hollywood Studios mm-hmm. and water. And there's bathrooms mm-hmm. uh, right at the beach club there. There's bathrooms everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's such an accommodating thing for yeah. runners. Um, I will say this. It's an expensive place to stay, the boardwalk and the beach club. And so, but it's you know, so worth it. It is worth it. Uh, and I, I know, I've stayed there and I know he has too. It's mm-hmm. so it's, worth they've it. They redid the rooms and it's actually really worth yeah. it. it. It's really beautiful. And if, and if you're planning on trying to run there, but you're not staying there, it's a really iffy situation, guys. You really need to have a reservation. You need to be there for a reason. Yeah. Um, Disney wants you to only be there mm-hmm. if you have a dining reservation. And that's for parking purposes. Now, I will say this. If you are staying at one of the resorts that's on the Skyliner, mm-hmm. um, you can easily take the Skyliner oh. from Pop Century or from the... Art of um, Animation. Well, Art, Art of, of Animation, animation is still starts, closed. No, November. I thought it's November okay, 1st. Okay, if they open November 1st, then from yeah. there too. Uh, and from um, the Caribbean yeah. Beach. And you can take that Skyliner right over to the boardwalk. And guess what? You can run there. Just make sure you know the times for the Skyliner when it starts, when it stops, <laughs> so you don't get stuck there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And make sure... It only sure... runs, like, I think, like an hour or two after Epcot closes. And make sure you have a, a yeah. face covering with you, mm-hmm. um, just in case. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and we're going to make a video about our... We, we just did a video about um, face coverings yeah. with the Under Armour sport masks yeah. that you can buy. Um, I don't know. I can't say for sure, so don't quote me on this what Disney's policy is for people running uh, with a we, mask yeah, on. Yeah, I've never been stopped. Nobody's been stopped. And everybody that we see, or I should say I've seen, mm-hmm. um, they do not have a face covering on as they're actually running. But I've seen everybody kind of has them maybe tied to their shirt or have their it in your top Yeah, have it in your hand. hand. Have it looped somewhere close. Um, because they will yeah. come up and they will talk to you. And if, yeah. and if they want to have you put it, make sure you put it on. And you know what we've yeah. done when we've been there? If we're alone and there's nobody around, which when you're running at four o'clock in the morning or, th- you know, five o'clock, there's not going to be a lot of people around. Yeah. But if you're running at eight or nine o'clock and there's a lot of people around, be socially responsible and put it on. And that's what we yeah. did. If we were running and we were in yeah. close proximity to people, we put it on just to be nice, you know, just to, to, um, yeah. you know, to follow the rules. Yeah. Um, but, uh, have one with you, keep it in your pocket, keep a small one with you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So much more fun than that. Yes. The, anybody, if you're coming for wine and dine, mm-hmm. start making your dining reservations now. And for I God's just, sakes, get a great costume. Yes. Run. <laughs> okay. So I'm, yeah. um, I'm going to try to run the 10 K over at the boardwalk yeah. for wine and dine. Uh-huh. And uh, but the half I'm gonna do with Adam somewhere else. I'm not mm-hmm. really sure what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll go down celebration. Yeah, celebration is a good place. Celebration. Or maybe SeaWorld, we'll see. Yeah, Who maybe. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna find some place, probably do that on that Saturday of the mm-hmm. regular wine uh, wine and dine. Mm-hmm. And do some whining and dining <laughs> later. Oh, I will wine and dine but you I was, for sure. <laughs> you will be wined yeah. and dined so for sure. So I, I was looking up, though, um, just kind of how the dining is looking for that day. And a lot is, is taken, but that's not a surprise. It's a Saturday. Mm-hmm. So if you haven't been here in a while, or maybe this is kind of new because maybe you planned this before, just go ahead. And if what you're looking for is not there, keep checking. Just keep, keep hitting it. The app. Keep hitting it. Yeah. And even up until the day before. So everybody has up until usually the day before to cancel without a penalty. So mm-hmm. I there's been plenty of times where we've been looking and we've really wanted a certain restaurant and we find it just the day before because people are canceled. They get rid of the things they don't want or they yeah. don't care about. Yeah. And we we pick them up. So yeah. don't get discouraged. Something to think about. But start checking now because I think that's a big part of the experience when you're here. Having a it's great how you're gonna celebrate. celebration. Yeah, <laughs> having a great celebration. Yeah. Celebrate afterwards and, mm-hmm. you know, you'll get your pictures in the park. But, you know, like what's that awesome restaurant that you want to do yeah. that night to celebrate? And so. I challenge all of you, yeah. please, we have not been getting very many comments in our videos. Please 
I just want to hear what your plans are. So please comment here. You can comment on our Facebook, but I'd love to see your comments here on YouTube. If you are planning on running the Wine and Dine virtually at Disney, yeah. tell us where, tell us how, tell us your costume, tell us where you're planning to celebrate afterwards. We would just love to hear what your plans are. Um, and maybe it'll give somebody a, an idea mm -hmm. or it'll plant a seed for somebody because mm -hmm. in these times right now, mm -hmm. uh, when the, when the full in-person race isn't, isn't happening, people kind of are getting down on themselves, but you know what? It's easy to plan something fun. And I know lots <laughs> of you are. So please, if, if you're doing something, please comment below right here. Yeah. I implore you, please What's comment. your costume? Uh, Smee. You're right. Yeah. I need to order my... She's my... going to be Captain Hook and I'm, I'm going to be Smee. She's my boss. But I looked You're the boss. and they're not available <laughs> for purchase right now. Okay, well, well then we have some work to do. So, so I, yeah. Adam's got big hopes and dreams, but I'm Indeed. trying. Yeah, I need to get... So we are a little bit behind in that department. I'm going to dress up. Snap, snap, snap. Let's I'm gonna, get going on this. I'm going to dress up. What That's are you going to dress option. up as for the Ursula 10K? It's got to be something with Little Mermaid. Well, I do have an Ursula costume that I wore one time. I could resurrect that. I would like to see Sebastian. Can you please give me That's not a, a villain. I'm, no, but you, this but is a it villain's doesn't, you don't race. have to be a villain. You could be Sebastian. Right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, I want to take the opportunity to dress as a villain. Okay, maybe. Okay, then do it. You know, maybe Adam can be Sebastian. Like, the here, how do you do the lobsters? <laughs> sure, okay. I'll be Sebastian and you can be Ursula. Uh, but whatever. Totally Whatever makes different. you happy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, villains. Yeah, it's okay, we yeah. got to have villain costumes. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. well, you heard it. He's going to be Sebastian the lobster. <laughs> I love lobster. It's delicious. Well, get him some a red shirt and some like some you know m mittens or something like that. <laughs> we'll Stinger. find something. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, be well, fun. oh gosh, we have taken a lot of time today. We have. So we've we got the next couple weeks. We're going to focus on kind of wine and dine and prep work for that mm -hmm. weave in a couple other topics that we have mm -hmm. i also dug out some of the old wine and dine medals that i have so we'll talk about those and get excited about it you know what it everybody is yeah. so like down on themselves because these races aren't happening they're still happening yeah. guys we're doing it get excited yeah. about it make your plans come yeah. to disney you can run still ran, run and at home. do it or run at home yeah, yeah. You, and you know what you can make it fun at home too yeah. like yeah. Even if you're on your treadmill, mm -hmm. um, I'm crazy enough to just put like decorations on my treadmill. And or... guess what, guys? I <laughs> if you great... don't make it fun, nobody else will. I have a great playlist that we've put together of virtual runs at Walt Disney World. Bam. There it is right there. Use that. Yeah. You can run your half marathon to it. We've got plenty of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Run at Walt Disney World, even if you're at home on a treadmill. I love treadmills. Um, mm -hmm. She does not. I love treadmills so much. I love to treadmill run. So that'll so, be good. Maybe um, maybe we should try to put together a POV of mm -hmm. like some sort of race course. I don't know. I'll we think could. about it. I'll we think could. about how we, we could can, do a whole half marathon POV. How we can work on that. Like... We could. we could. As a two hour is pretty a lot. Like, but, but we could do it. You never know. Yeah, like, we could so, do it. Yeah. Like, we're thinking of ideas on the fly right yeah, now. Yeah, because a lot of people on our <laughs> channel really like treadmills, um, and and follow us for that reason. So then you can be at Disney. You could, yeah. So maybe we'll work on yeah. putting together a full half marathon POV, guys. This is a know. promise I don't want to mm. make, guys, because I don't okay. know if we can do that it. That was totally on the fly. That was totally on the fly. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll think we'll, about something. We'll come, back. we'll come back to you with that. But I okay. hope all of your miles uh, are going good. Um, I, I know personally I'm using this time to try and make yeah. myself a better runner and to increase my recovery pace and some other things that I'm working on. What are you working on? You know, it's about distance because we're training about the marathon right mm -hmm. now. Yep. Um, and for me, I'm really happy with my half marathon pace. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got a big marathon and marathon is not my distance. I'll do it. 
and I think that I can run it pretty fairly, but it's not what I like to do. We did 16 miles so. last weekend, and we decided that it was going to be great to do it in the 90 and 100 degree heat. Yeah. Not um, early in the morning, but in the afternoon, and it was Well, you know, just choices were made. <laughs> Bad choices were made, yep. yeah. So yeah. this... this Video is getting a little long. It is. So, so <laughs> uh, yeah. So Let's, once again, please, guys, please subscribe to our channel. Just click that subscribe mm -hmm. button. It just takes a second. And we would love to do a live wine and dine yeah. um, something. So follow please, us on Facebook. Yeah, and please follow us on our Facebook page at Wish Upon a Run. Um, and it's been so great to talk with you guys this week. I hope everybody's miles are um, running great and that... Um, that you are getting your training in for wine and dine and for all your other races that you've got coming up soon. So um, we uh, are done for this week. Yep. And we will catch everybody next week, right? Yep. Have all a right. great running week. 